Hello, beautiful cook. Page 42 of the Cook Along series of Beats Cuisine Cookbook. Um, I'm making dukkha to go on soups or in salads. And I've got um, macadamias, walnuts, and pepitas. The recipe doesn't have walnuts in, but I put them in for omega 3. And the recipe has only a quarter cup of pepitas, but I put a full cup. They've been roasting in the oven for 10 minutes, and I tell you, they are hard to not eat. And if you think that doesn't look like a cup of macadamia that's there, it definitely isn't because the cameraman, Mr. Mac, and I have been nibbling on them. So we're just going to pop them there so they're nice and roasted and roasted nuts are delicious. And we want to chop them up, um, not finely, but roughly. So um, adding omega-3 is really important in your diet. Um, whether you're vegan or not and whether you're vegan or not you don't want to be having your omega-3 coming from fish oils um, there are too many nasty side effects to having prolonged usage of fish oils and that's scientifically proven um, and where do the fish get the omega-3 from algae and that's where we can get our omega-3 from as vegans walnuts and lots of um, plant-based Foods have omega-3, um, but that's the ALA omega-3, which um, we need the DHA and the EPA for our bones and brain health. And some people can convert um, ALA from plant sources, omega-3 to the DHA and EPA, and some people can't. So if in doubt, take a supplement but also, if you're having blood tests and your blood tests come back good, you don't need to take the supplement. But make sure you're having plenty of ALA omega-3. And that's why I suggest having a Duca on, um, on everything, actually. So most of it's chopped now, but I've decided to keep it quite chunky. If you want it finer, you can put it briefly in the food processor. The problem with putting it in the food processor is that it, it goes quickly to crumb. And we do want some chunks in it. Um, so it just depends and I because they, these macadamia are so delicious I've decided to keep it quite chunky and the reason why I added many more pepitas is because pepitas are a complete protein and if you are um, adding those you've got extra protein with what you're eating eating and then um, these are now now cool I can touch the pan <laughs> they're cool but I had them dry roasting just for two minutes and that's two tablespoons of coriander, two tablespoons of cumin and a teaspoon of pepper. I've changed up the recipe a little bit because I found out a lot more about omega-3 and I also um, added more nuts so I want more of the spice in because the spice, the coriander seeds are just sensational in this and I've been putting it on everything. I've been putting it on toast, salad, veggies, everything and so I'm just going to zhuzh this and make it into a powder. That should do it. One more, one more little dance. Oh, the smell, the smell is sensational. So we're going to put that into a bowl and we're going to add, oh, there's a little bit in there. We want to, don't want to waste any of that coriander. There's something very mm, magical about um, the coriander seeds and then just being freshly ground rather than buying coriander powder. And by dry roasting them, it just brings out more flavor. Same with the cumin, but you don't want to do it too long in the frying pan, just two minutes, um, not more because you can burn the cumin. As soon as you smell the cumin, it needs to come off. So we're adding all of this in here. And I'll just use this. And what I um, have decided to do, because I want to add even more omega-3 in, is I'm going to put in um, two tablespoons, which is three to three soup spoons, of hemp seeds. And because we're putting hemp seeds in, this now has to live in the fridge because hemp seeds need to be in the fridge. And to add even more omega-3, and you may or may not want to do this, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of um, dulse flakes so that's seaweed so if people don't like seaweed then don't put that in but seaweed is brilliant for omega-3 and it has the DHA and EPA which we need so mix that around 
and then I'm going to put this in an airtight container. I'm just going to put it in a few and I'm going to give some to a friend, uh, one jar to a couple of friends, I mean, and then keep it in the fridge and then you can sprinkle that on everything. They are quite chunky, but that's okay. Yeah, so the, um, they're a little chunky, so you could cut them smaller, those uh, uh, macadamias, or just pick them out and eat them. And we need to put salt in. I forgot, almost forgot that. Now, if you've got high blood pressure, don't put the salt in. It's fine. It doesn't need salt. Um, so I would normally put a teaspoon in, but because I live with someone who's got high blood pressure, half a teaspoon. Okay. Bon appétit. Bye. Hello, wonderful cook. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. I would love it if you wrote a comment. I love re receiving comments and I'll always reply. Also, please like and subscribe. And if you look below, there's a link to sign up for my free Iron Rich ebook and weekly recipes. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.